go, guys. One day. One down. Four to go. Such a beautiful day, man. Relaxing, peaceful day. Weather's just perfect. Mid to high 60s, 67, 68, somewhere around there. Perfect weather, breezy. You can wear the long sleeve, short sleeve, doesn't matter. California type weather, you know what I mean? Growing up, we used to go to Disneyland every summer and it was just like this. Beautiful weather. Comfortable weather. It's about that time, finally in Texas, because it's always fucking hot in the summer. It's like 100 plus every day. So we're finally getting a break from the heat. Good to have the day off today, especially after last night's loss against the Philadelphia Eagles. Congratulations to you guys. Once again, I'm going to say it again. Congratulations to you guys. That ain't good enough for a lot of Eagle fans, man. I'm telling you. Like, if you were down, if you accidentally trip or fall in front of one of them, they'll kick you while you... <laughs> I think one of our guys was either cramping last night or hurt or whatever. And they were booing because I don't know why the hell they were booing, but I guess they were booing because he was hurt. I was like, wow, these guys are, these guys are ruthless. Like when you look up disrespect in the, in the dictionary, the Eagle fan base is sitting there like, yeah, <laughs> it blows my mind, man. But God bless them. You got to pray for people like that. But anyway, Good game last night. Um, this is my part two. I'm going to make this short as I can. I always do a part two after at the aftermath video. Um, last night game brought us back down to reality. It will. Um, well, it did. Uh, we were on a, what, four, four game winning streak. Cooper Rush was 4-0. Uh, we were liking how we were playing. We were liking how the players gravitated to Cooper Rush. And we were enjoying it. We were along for the ride. A lot of us Cowboy fans were, ah, oh, forget Dak and put Coop, let Coop stay in there. Or, you know, and uh, a lot of us were like, well, you know, it is what it is, you know. And uh, me personally, I was just, Along for the ride, pretty much. I knew Coop was a backup. I knew Dak would eventually come back. I had a feeling that his backupness, I know that's not a word, but his backupness would show facing the Philadelphia Eagles and that, that defense. They were they were 5 0 for now 6 0 for a reason. They were a good team. Um, I had a bad feeling coming to that. I said it last night. I had, a, I had a bad feeling in my stomach about this game. Um, Cowboys have a lot of work to do. Uh, the, the the penalties still exist. They've come. They've resurfaced. You know, for the past couple of games, we've been you know kind of less on the penalties, but uh, we've allowed the penalties and the refs to get involved last night. And I'm not using that as an excuse, but that is one of the factors why we lost. You you know what I mean? Uh, despite the Eagles being, you know, the better team. Uh, you know, I always say that penalties will beat you faster than the team that you're facing. And uh, we we allowed that negativity to get to enter our game plan. And we have to do something about that. We have to adjust to get out of that. Uh, the play calling offense was horrible. Uh, Kellen Moore went back to his old ways, you know. It seems like when we play a team like that, uh, we, 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 we get dumber. You know, <laughs> our coaching staff gets, gets dumber. They can't adjust. And uh, that's going to be a problem, you know, if, if we make it to postseason play. Um, I'm not saying we're going to the playoffs. I'm not saying we're going to the Super Bowl or anything like that. But that is the primary objective. That's why you play the game. That's why you start an NFL season with the assumption of going to the playoffs and maybe making it to the Super Bowl. That's why teams play. That's what it's designed for. 
you know, every Cowboy fan is always talking about Super Bowl. Um, I, I think we want to go. We would like to make it just like you, just like any other fan base, just like the Detroit Lions, just like the Miami Dolphins, just like the Atlanta Falcons, just like the Cleveland Browns who've never won a Super Bowl. They want to go too. It's been almost 30 years since we've been. Don't you think we want to go back? You know, so, um, you know, with that being said, um, last night's game, uh, the Dallas Cowboys were out of character. They were put out of character. It, it seems like they were ill-prepared. They weren't ready at all. Um, first half, we didn't even show up. We could have just stayed in the locker room. We didn't really get into a rhythm till third quarter. And we bought, we came all the way back from within three points, which was good. I'm like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna shh, shh, hush, hush on the down low, get back in this game and possibly win it. That's what I was thinking at the time. But we allowed Philadelphia to get downfield, milk the clock and score. Uh, they tried to go for two to really put the game out of reach, but we, we stopped them on that. So. I'm thinking we're going to get the ball back and, and you know, okay, here we go. We're going to get the ball back and we're going we're gonna to score and we're going to make a game out of this. Uh-uh. I think Cooper rushed through an interception and that's what sealed it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> what happened last night. Uh, I want to apologize to my fan base and um, other fan base members that were in the chat last night and, because I was out of character. And, um, you know, that's really not me. I really don't fire back and go back and forth with people. I, I was really, really out of character that night. But a lot of emotions and passions kind of st stepped in and, you know, made me do those things. So, but uh, it is what it is, guys. That's all I pretty much got, man. I just wanted to kind of talk about the game last night just a little bit, do my part two. And, uh, um, it's, we got to get back at it. Uh, I'm still here. I'm still camming up, still showing my face. Uh, now it's time to move on, learn from this loss, learn from my mistakes, and hopefully they'll get back on the ball. You know, we got Detroit next, so that should be a, a game. I, I feel like that's a winnable game for us to get us back, get our confidence back, and get us back on track, get Dak Prescott back in the mix, get him going, and uh, get this ball rolling. And uh, you, you learn, you lose. When you lose games, you're supposed to learn from them. You're supposed to get better. And let's just hope that's the case for the Dallas Cowboys uh, because it's still early in the season. It's still time. Uh, losing last night game wasn't the end of the world. It just, it wasn't. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles thought it was. You know, they, that was their Super Bowl. You know, like, I, like I'm going to continue to say, they, they were just happy, so happy to beat us. And I get it because we beat them, you know, so many times. Um... Uh, the past couple of seasons, so I get it, you know, uh, more power to them, but um, we'll see you guys again down the road, uh, we have time, there is still time, because it's early, there's still time to clean up, there's still time to heal, there's still time to get better, things change throughout the season, you get what I'm saying, so um, you got to watch what you say and how you come at people, because you never know what could happen to throw you on their side of the fence, you get what I'm saying, but that's all I got, guys. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy. I'm out.